Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Uh, we're going to discuss increasing and decreasing functions. Um, increasing functions are functions that increase if the y value increases as the x value increases. And decreasing is the opposite of that. It's a function that the y value decreases as the x value increases. This is easy, easier to see on a graph, so let's just go ahead and look at a graph. All right, so here's a function, x squared minus 4. And I've already gone ahead and shaded the decreasing and increasing parts. So here's how we do it. And you're going to probably want um, some different colors for this so you can shade the graphs that we're going to do in the notes. Um, so I'm going to always start on the left-hand side over here. <clears throat> increasing and decreasing functions always go from left to right. So actually, let's go ahead and, and write that in. So they always go from left to right. Um, like you read in the book. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the graph. So I'm always going to start over here on the left, and I'm going to move to the right. So I like to think of increasing and decreasing functions like a roller coaster. If I'm going down the hill, you're screaming. You know, you're going way down the hill, you're excited, you just want to scream. As you're going up the hill, what do you usually hear? You don't hear screaming, you usually hear clink, 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 clink as the, as the car climbs the hill. So let's go ahead and do this for, uh, for increasing and decreasing functions. So I'm going to start over here on the left-hand side. And as I move from left to right, if, if I was on a roller coaster, I would be coming down the hill as I'm coming from left to right. All right, so, ah, and as soon as I get here, I'm at the bottom of the hill. And now I'm going to start clinking. Clink, 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 clink. All right, so let's hear it the whole way through. Ah, clink, 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 clink. And I'm going to clink all the way to the right forever. All right, so let's try another one. All right, here's an interesting graph. This is a polynomial function. Um, and the reason I know that is because x to the third, the 3 is the highest exponent, so if it's 3 or higher, it's going to be polynomial. Uh, all right, so let's start over here on the left. So it looks like I kind of do a little dip here in the middle of the graph, kind of in here. I'm climbing up the hill. So as my car is moving from left to right, I'm going up the hill. So clink, 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 clink. I get to the top of the hill. Ah! Now I'm going to climb the hill again. Clink, 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 clink. All right, so I'm going from left to right. I'm going increasing, decreasing, increasing. Up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. This has nothing to do with where the graph crosses the x-axis. It really is wherever the low and high points in the graph are. So there's a high point there, there's a low point there. But I'm really not concerned about those y-coordinates. It's the x-coordinates I'm going to be concerned about. And that's why I followed my x-axis with my arrow on those uh, particular examples. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's uh, find the increasing and decreasing intervals for the function h of x equals x plus 5 all squared minus 8. Let's go ahead and fill in the type. This, of course, is quadratic, and I know that because of the squared term right there, and also because the graph looks like a u. So let's go ahead and write in quadratic. All right, next thing, let's look for increasing and decreasing. So remember, I always go from left to right when I'm doing increasing and decreasing functions. So let's start with going from left to right. All right, so let's see. So as I go from left to right, so starting over here, and I move this way, like I said, it's like you're going on a roller coaster. Are you screaming or are you clinking? So as I go, start at the left and I move to the right, I'm screaming, ah, right to there. All right, so let's go ahead and color that in. So I'm just going to highlight that. Uh, let's go ahead and highlight that in orange. So it looks like right in that area there, I'm uh, decreasing. And then I'm going to start increasing. 
So as I go in this area and then to the right, I'm going to increase the whole way from left to right. All right, so it looks like my boundary is going to be right about here. So I drew that a little bit to the left. It should be a little to the right. And it's going to go right on negative 5. All right, so let's go ahead and find our increasing and decreasing intervals. All right, I'm going to write x e or x such that for both of these. So I'm going to, let's start with increasing. I'm going to increase, and this is my increasing interval here, so increasing interval. I'm going to increase from negative 5 all the way out here to positive infinity on the x-axis. The words increasing and decreasing describe what's happening to the y values. So if I start here, the y values are going up, 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 as I go from left to right. So my y values increase when x goes from negative 5 to positive infinity. All right, so conversely, I decrease in this orange region over here. So this is my decreasing interval. And I'm going to decrease as I come from negative infinity. So way out here, imagine I can go miles and miles off the graph. I never actually would hit negative infinity. So from negative infinity on the x all the way until I hit that boundary right there, negative 5. So from negative infinity to negative 5, I decrease. So the y values decrease. The y values are going down, down, down. Let me get my pointer. The y values are going down, 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 down until x is at negative 5. So y values decrease when x is going from negative infinity to negative 5 over that x interval. So y values decrease over this x interval. Y values increase over that x interval. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's find the increasing and decreasing intervals for g of x equals 1 half x to the third plus 1. All right, the uh, highest exponent of x is a 3 or higher. That means it's a polynomial function. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so let's try and figure out the increasing and decreasing intervals. Well, let's start over here on the left-hand side of the graph, and I'm always going to read from left to right, just like reading a book. So left to right. All right, so let's start over here on the left. And it looks like I'm going up the hill. So clink, 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 clink. Now it looks like the graph kind of levels out here, but it really doesn't. It just... It just increases ever so slightly. So it increases a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and then it starts to slow down. But it's still increasing, increasing, increasing a little bit, and then increasing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so as I go through there, I'm going to clank the whole way. Clank, 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 clank. All right, so I'm actually increasing the entire way. All right, so if I'm going to color my graph, let's go ahead and color it. Let's increase. Let's increase the entire way. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and write that in there. So I am not going to decrease at all. So I'm going to put NA, not applicable. All right, so let's go ahead and put in for increasing. I'm going to put my fancy squigglies x such that. Remember, the important part comes after that. So it increases from left to right the entire way. So from negative infinity to positive infinity, the y values increase. So the y values increase over the x interval of negative infinity to positive infinity. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's find the increasing and decreasing intervals for f of x equals 3 over x plus 4. Uh, first, of all, let's, first of all, let's do the type. Um, this is a rational function, and two reasons for that. One is there's an x in the denominator, 
Second is the way the graph looks. It looks kind of like two exponential functions kind of stuck into the same graph. All right, so let's go ahead and find the increasing and decreasing functions. So let's start over here on the left. And remember, I'm going from left to right. Always go from left to right like you're reading a book when you're doing increasing and decreasing intervals. So it looks like I'm going down ever so slightly. Even if I start way, way, way out here on the left, I'm going down ever so slightly. And then all of a sudden, as I get to like here, it starts to really fall. So I'm going to scream from left to right. So, ah, and then it stops because this graph down here then has to transfer to this graph. Okay, so what really happens is I almost have like a break right here. And you've seen that before, those dotted lines. Those are called asymptotes. That's a vertical asymptote. So I really have kind of two separate graphs here I have to deal with. All right, so this left-hand graph over here on the left-hand side, this one, I know it decreases. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in the decreasing for, uh, portion. All right, so x such that. So from negative infinity, so from negative infinity all the way to negative 4, it tells me that I am decreasing. All right, so from negative infinity... to negative 4, it decreases. Okay, so kind of envision it this way. My, um, my car on the roller coaster now jumps the track. I now go from this graph all the way to this graph. So now this is kind of my starting point, this dashed line right here. So now as I move from left to right, I'm going down, 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 down. So I'm screaming, so ah! Now, as I get way out here to the right, I'm going down ever so slightly, but I still am going down. I still am decreasing. So it looks like what I have here, and let's go ahead and color this in. It looks like what I have are two decreasing intervals. So I decrease here all the way up to negative 4, and then I also decrease over here from negative 4 on. So let's go ahead and... Uh, write that in. So I also decrease from negative 4 to positive infinity. So this area is from negative infinity to negative 4, and then I jump over the asymptote, and this part of the graph is from negative 4 to positive infinity. Now, um, you might say, why can't I just decrease from negative infinity to positive infinity? The reason is I don't increase or decrease in this, on this dashed line at all. There's no graph there. So I can't increase or decrease at all. So I'm really kind of dealing with two separate decreasing intervals. Um, so in order to tie these two inequalities together, I can put a U next to them. Sorry about that. I can put a U next to them like this. And that means union. So it's ne x such that ne from negative infinity to negative 4. And, that's what the union means, ne from negative 4 to positive infinity. And now I can close up the bracket. And it doesn't increase at all, so I can just put not applicable there.